Hey folks, Bob with CurrencyWaves.com. We have looked at the Aussie and the Euro today. And now we're going to look at the Pound. Starting with the weekly, we have the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, down 4, A. Working on a possible B wave triangle that should be complete with A, B, C, D, and then an A, B, C up for E. And maybe working on five waves down for the larger C wave here. Um, before we go down to the daily, I want to move over to the bullish version of this triangle where we have the same five waves down for A. Then we have an A, B, C up for A. Then A, B, C, D of the triangle is complete. And now we're looking for E. Um, either case, we will be looking lower. I think... Um, We'll put that right there. 62.60 should hold. While we can either do the five waves down or complete this E wave. Oops, wrong one. Here. So keep that in mind. As we drop down to the daily, we are just looking at the A, B, C up for A, B wave down, five waves up for C with a truncated fifth here, double top, 62.60, and we could have the possible wave one of this five it would be wave one of one of the larger five waves down. We move down to a four hour. And here is our truncated fifth. And we have one, two, three, four, five. This kind of looks like one, two, three, four, five up as well. But as you can see, we have tested. Uh, the channel here and falling back down. So I am looking for 6262 hold and looking at this as a possible one, two, or at least an A. It would be C up a little higher before the actual wave two of this wave one. Here it gets started. Something to this effect. As you see that bounce stopped dead at the 61.8 there, so. We'll have to continue to watch to once we get back below 59 here. I think it will be a pretty sharp move down. So, okay, that's what I'm watching there. Like I said, careful of this bullish triangle here. But even if it does play out, there is a should be a move down to 54-ish, 55 at least for the E leg before moving higher. Okay. Thank you.